Hey, how you doing today? I just wanted to bring you this quick message on cybernetics. Now, cybernetics is the science of communication and control in animals and some machines. And Dr. Maxwell Maltz went to write a fabulous book called Psycho-Cybernetics to really explain this concept. Now, he said, we think, we feel, and we act according to what our self-image is, and we're not going to deviate from it. And he came down with this conclusion because he was a surgeon, a plastic surgeon. And he noticed that some people that you know, he made alterations to, they, their whole self-esteem attitude just shifted. And they were just beaming and enjoying all kinds of success because of that. And then other people where he had similar operations with alterations and exactly how they wanted it, somehow nothing changed. It just went about their same old life. And so this puzzled him, and he went to research it, and he discovered this, that our self, we're not going to deviate from your self-image. You won't deviate from your self-image. And this is why it's absolutely clear that you're, you're crystal clear on what you want for your health and fitness, that you know exactly what you want, just how you want to look like, feel like, all of that. And I'm going to show you why, because in the machine, how the cybernetic system works, is let's say we got this fancy plane here, Right, you got this fancy plane, it's going from YYZ and it's going all the way to LAX. Okay, so on this flight plan, it's got the flight plan programmed in it. On this flight plan, all of a sudden, boom, it gets knocked off course. It gets not knocked off course. So, what happens? All of a sudden, the cybernetic system measures the deviation from the set goal, which is LAX. It measures the deviation from the set goal. And then it sends feedback. It sends feedback to the central mechanism system here, which is the autopilot. Now the autopilot changes the output. And then what do you know? It makes it to LA. So that's how it works in a machine. Now... In the animal, it's a bit different. In the, it's the same, so what am I saying? It's not different. It's a similar concept in the animal. It works in the same way. So, let's say you have someone here. Boom. This is a fitness buff. Or what you call a fitness freak. You know, a lot of you have that fitness freak in your circles. I'm definitely that fitness freak in my circle. So, this, guy, this person here's goal is to be one... 60 and absolutely shredded that's their goal that's the self image they have constantly always and they're always improving on that and refining it but that's that's what it is that's what's programming it the self image is 160 pounds ripped and cut so what happens this is the end of the year right the start of the year end of the year as he's going as this person is going it could be a he or her all of a sudden Boom! They get knocked off course by some incident. Maybe they broke up with their partner. Maybe they saw some trauma happen and now they can't really, you know, keep to their routines. Breaking up with their partner caused them to go eat and binge and all that. And all of a sudden, boom! Their weight goes up. They shoot up to 190. 190 pounds. About a month of binging causes them to shoot up 30 pounds. And then, but what happens though is the cybernetic system in the human being, which is the central nervous system, is programmed with the information that, hey, this is not right. We're supposed to be at 160 pounds and ripped. Now we're at 190 and all flabby. What's up with that? And so then it changes the output from the deviation of the set goal. Boom. And what do you know? At the end of this year, this person is going to be at 160 pounds and fit. So this is the cybernetic system. I'm going to give you one more example just to bring it home. I mean, you can apply this across, across the board. So, you know, the simple experiment you can do at home just to really ingrain this in yourself. Just sit on a chair, right? Have a, you know, a coffee table beside you or even the arm of the chair would do and have a pen or some object. 
Now, what you want to do is I want you to, the first part of the exercise, you're just sitting down, just close your eyes, and I want you to reach, just reach. Reach. Right? The brain doesn't process it. That's not a clear instruction. It can't, it has no image to work with in terms of the goal. Cybernetic system is just lost in that regard. It doesn't know what you're talking about. So this, the, so you need to give it clear instructions. So now, you're going to put the pen in front on the coffee table on the armchair. And you're going to, and you're going to close your eyes again. And you're going to reach for the pen. So you're going to reach for the pen. Right? Boom. Now it gets it. It gets the clear instruction. Hey, there's a pen over there. I need to reach for the pen. And it grabs it. And that's what, what's amazing about the cybernetic system. Now what you need to pay attention to and be aware of this is that in grabbing this pen, seemingly it seems like you just grabbed it, but you should see all the minutes shift into the, you know, overshooting to the left, overshooting to the right, or overshooting it, you know, forward or backwards, being short of it. And yet your, your, your brain is able to record that message, that deviation, and still eventually within a split second, fractions of a second, boom, you grab it. That's how powerful the system is. But you got to use it. You got to be clear on your self-image for health and fitness. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So sit down. Take a minute or two. No one likes to do these exercises. Trust me, I know this. I've recommended this tons and tons and tons. And even for myself, right, going through the process of writing down how I want to be in terms of you know, my self-image, self-esteem, confidence, fitness, vitality, all of that. Going down and refining it and really thinking from my own self how I want to look like. Not based on the media, not based on what some fitness uh, dude wrote on, online. No, based on what my inner being, right, that, that presence that's always been with you, wants. What kind of body is it, does it need to be able to fulfill the task that is on, that you're on in this world? So it's important to take that in consideration. Don't skip this exercise. Go find yourself a quiet place. Throw on some classical music. Get nice and relaxed. And do this exercise. And that's what it's about. Getting clear on your self-image. So that's the video for today. Cybernetic system, apply it, apply it, apply it, and I'll see you in the next video.